Design 3D has a preferences menu, much like many other applications that allows you to preset various items. Um, I would suggest that you initially make sure your preferences are set pretty much like mine. They, they're, these are likely to be. The most important ones are over here in the Windows tab. And these allow you to customize the way you interact with Design 3D in various ways, most having to do with the way your window looks and behaves. Probably the most important parameter that I want to make sure you have enabled is Auto Grid. Now, some of these are just purely preference. I like to have my new documents appear as if I'm working in a two-dimensional application. For instance, if I come over here and create a new empty project, it comes in looking pretty much like a two-dimensional, as if I were in something like a two-dimensional application like Illustrator. I don't really see any perspective. It's very basic. However, if I wanted to, I could configure my windows to behave so it looked like I immediately was in a three-dimensional application. For instance, I could come over and I could tell my window not to open up in a front view, but instead to open up in an isometric view so I would immediately see perspective. And I could also tell it not to be in orthographic mode, which means no perspective, and instead go to sort of a default perspective mode. So now if I click OK, and then I come over here and say New Empty Project, we open up in what clearly looks like more of a three-dimensional space. You can also determine what the background color is and a few other parameters like that. So it all depends on what you uh, happen to have a preference for. Now, I would suggest that if you're going to try and follow along with any of these introductory videos that you may want to set yours so they are pretty close to mine just so that you don't get too lost if your view happens to behave very differently. So anyway, this is just the preferences dialog box.